Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. And today's game up on the tabletop is Ghosts Can't Draw by Big Potato Games. It's a two to six player game, ages eight and up, takes about 20 minutes to play the game. And in the game, you are playing as paranormal investigators along with one ghost. You can play up to five other friends with you. And the way it's gonna work is one player is gonna be the ghost and everybody else will be an investigator. And that ghost is going to use the ghost board to try and draw on this board here what their card says. Maybe the card will say something like snowman and so they're going to have to draw on this board a snowman. The trick however is that everyone will have their eyes closed and each player is going to have a hand on this little ghost board here and the player who's the ghost will move it and so the other players who are the investigators are going to try and guess who the ghost is and then not only that but guess what the ghost has drawn. Score points at the end of the game by having people guess what you drew as the ghost and you as the other players guess who the ghost is and pick the correct one uh, of the different cards out there laid out of the different choices of what is drawn by the ghost. Will you have the most points at the end of a number of rounds? Find out in the game Ghosts Can't Draw, or can they? To begin set up for the game Ghosts Can't Draw, the first thing you do is you take the ghost board out, you take the little ghost mover out, and take one of the pens. Uncork the pen and place that pen inside the slot so that you have a ghost board along with this kind of Ouija ghost here with a pen poking out at the very bottom and place it in the middle of the game board. Then give out these uh, paranormal investigator cards. You'll take a number equal to number of players minus one, take a card from the Ghost Can't Draw deck face down, choose the number of these cards here and put them in together. So with a six player game, you're going to have five paranormal investigators and one secret ghost card. Shuffle these guys out and deal them out to each player. Each player is also going to get one of these ghost tokens. You can be purple, white, green, yellow, gray, or black. And you can get more of these as the game progresses. Once each player has a card, whether they're the investigator or they're going to be the ghost, as well as everybody has set up the main game board and shuffled this deck up along with the points, you're basically ready to begin. Place the little eraser next to the game board, you'll need it. Playing the game is simple. Like I said before, each player is going to get one of these cards. And when you're playing a six player game, each player is going to have uh, one of these six cards here. Five of them are gonna be investigators and one will be a card for what the ghost needs to draw. That card is gonna represent who is the ghost and what they need to draw. Uh, and in this case here, if you flip over these, it'll show that the uh, player here from your side, which is gonna be your left, it'll be the fourth player, is gonna be the ghost and their objective is to draw a snowman. But nobody knows that but them. Everybody else has no idea other than that they are not the ghost. And so each player now is gonna take their hand and place it on this board here. Make sure that your palms do not touch the table or your arms or anything. Everything has to be on the up and up, quite literally, and hold this thing here. And then the player who is uh, the snowman is going to draw. And the way this works is everybody will close their eyes. One player will say start, there's a timer that gets initiated, maybe it's 30 seconds or so, in which case after it beeps, the ghost stops drawing and then everybody opens their eyes. So you're moving this around. So it's a snowman. So let's say that I am the player here and this is the, no the investigator. You're gonna go ahead and try and draw a snowman as the ghost. And once you have drawn the snowman, um, hopefully the timer hasn't run out by then, you'll stop and everybody's gonna open their eyes and then you're going to go ahead and reveal the drawing. Everybody is now going to choose to find out who the ghost is. Everybody's gonna go one, two, three, or three, two, one, and point at the player they believe is the ghost, the player who is moving the board. Maybe it's because they felt it or based on the drawing, it could be whatever. And if you guess correctly who the ghost was, you'll get a bonus token. And so like I said, every player is gonna have one token to start the game. Even the ghost is gonna have one of these little tokens here. And if you're able to distinguish who the ghost is, let's say that uh, purple and green figured it out, they are both gonna get a bonus betting chip. Then the ghost player is going to take their card and seven other cards from the ghost draw pile here, and they are going to shuffle these guys up and then they're going to create a grid. It could be a two by four or um, basically however you wanna do it. As long as you lay it out so that people can see it, you'll place this grid out and then players are going to select which of these they believe the ghost was trying to draw. 
you can see here, what is this? Is it a trophy, a light bulb, a chess piece, a snowman, a watering can, a motorcycle, a helmet, a dolphin, a wizard? And now that you know who the ghost is, you'll have the idea of like, of, of like reference to how the ghost is trying to draw, draw based on where they were located on the map. You can see three balls here, so hopefully players will guess correctly. They'll go ahead and take their token or tokens if they guess the ghost correctly and place them down um, on the spots they believe uh, that the ghost was trying to draw. Once they've done that, everybody's used all their tokens except for the ghost, then you're going to tally up the points. For each player that guessed the ghost card correctly, the ghost will get one point. And in this case, both green and purple guessed correctly, so the ghost will get two points. Then, each player who guessed correctly will get a number of points equal to the number of tokens on that card. Green and purple guessed correctly, so green plays two here, which they'll score two points, and purple plays two, and they'll score two points. That's it, the round's over. Basically what happens is each of the tokens will go back to the players, except for the bonus tokens. Those tokens are actually gonna go back to the stack here to be gained at another round. You'll discard all of these cards here that are the um, word cards. And then you will take all of the paranormal investigator cards here. Give the ghost a paranormal investigator, which means they cannot be the ghost for the next round, so it's never gonna be the same player twice in a row. Then take an extra card from the draw deck so that there'll be a new ghost, shuffle these cards up, and then deal them out to each of the players. Once each player has their card, you'll go ahead and erase this board here. And now we'll take this ghost, place it back in the middle, and the next round can once again begin with a new ghost drawing and players guessing what the ghost was trying to draw along with who the ghost actually was. Play a number of rounds. I think the rule book states there's a certain number of rounds you can play, five rounds. You can play more or less, it's really up to you. And at the end of those rounds, whoever has the most victory points is the winner of the game, Ghosts Can't Draw. This is a drawing slash deception game in which a player is going to play as the ghost and try and hide their movement as carefully as possible moving around the game board with their ghost hand. Other players are gonna close their eyes and feel the table and feel the movement and based on the word they pressure for the shifts are, determine who the ghost is. That can, however, be a tricky situation because other players might try and move along with the ghost as best as possible or kind of tug a little bit uh, to get the notice or attention of other players because at the end of the day, you want to make people think you're the ghost if you're not and you want to figure out who the ghost is if you are, which can lead to some interesting drawings. Ghosts definitely cannot draw. This game is accurate. Uh, as playing the ghosts, you're going to be drawing and it's going to come out fairly terrible. Your <laughs> drawing is going to be um, the semblance of what the actual image should look like and hopefully enough to where it will gather the support of the tokens of the players because you want them to guess what you're drawing but not guess you. Less, uh, less of the same token uh, of a single player on yours is gonna be better for you. You wanna get all five players to guess your drawing, but nobody to guess that you were the ghost. That's really the important aspect of the game. And it's a fairly simple game. It's a guessing game, moving around this game board. You don't need to be a great artiste. Realistically trying to draw anything, even with your eyes open and by yourself is gonna be a challenge with this game board. Feels like a Ouija board, acts like and functions like one as players move their hands around the table. And I played this multiple, multiple times on Halloween and previously before that. And every time it has been an extremely fun uh, experience. Everybody's enjoyed this game. There's nobody who's complained about the game itself, the way it plays, it works really well. It reminds me of their previous game. One of my favorites is Chameleon. Uh, this is basically a drawing version of that with a few unique little twists. And the main one being the closing your eyes and moving around the board, as opposed to people saying words based on category positions. Excellent, excellent game. If you like Chameleon, you're gonna definitely like this one. Few negative caveats. And the first one being that you're likely going to have to find additional pens at some point. And uh, if you, you're gonna need to make sure that they have the right size to fit inside this little ghost thing here. Otherwise, you're SOL. That'll be it for you. Uh, another thing too I noticed is the game board didn't come flat. Uh, this one here, I had to kind of bend it to fit my will. And also, it was glued on around the edges, this border thing, which is actually needed. So I had to actually tape it on. I will eventually glue it correctly back with like some better glue, but it kind of popped off. So the design of the board was not as great as I would have liked. It could have been just due to shipping. The board kind of 
popped up due to heat or due to pressure, but that was an issue with the board and how it kind of fit together, as well as making sure you place this pen accurately so that it fits and so that it touches, because otherwise, if you do not get it to touch, then you're not going to actually get the ghost to draw anything. It'll just come out like looking like a three when it should look like, I don't know, a snowman. Maybe the circle doesn't exactly light up and then all of a sudden you, it looks something like this. Uh, the other thing too is players may attempt to kind of control the ghost hand, even though they shouldn't be, which is kind of annoying. If you're the ghost, you should make it so that it's a house rule. Players cannot actually sabotage the game uh, when they're, they're moving. They have to move with the ghost. Don't put too much pressure. Don't try and change or rotate it so that the ghost can't draw anything. It needs to be players are trying to allow the ghost to draw and also trying to make it sure that the pressure is there on all sides of this little ghost here to insinuate that it could be any player without actually putting so much resistance where the player that is the ghost can't draw. That's obnoxious and it sucks. Now, nothing to do with the game itself as far as how it's made, but some players can do that. Overall, this is an excellent game. It's fun, it's got some deduction, it's got some light drawing, it has hilarious images that are gonna come out every single time. You're never gonna have uh, the same image twice, even if you're using the same. If you use to draw a ghost, for instance, I promise you'll never see the same ghost more than once here, regardless of how many times you have to draw ghost. Lots of replayability, a whole lot of fun, laughter and shenanigans, an excellent game for Halloween. Highly, highly recommend this one. This is another seal of approval. I just hope that they Maybe my copy is not gonna be the accuracy of all copies when it comes to this game board, but otherwise, everything about this game was excellent. I love this game, a wonderful party game for sure.